Look what we found! Leonard wrote a book! Oh, let me see. <laughs> I could have predicted as much. Your average astrologist would definitely give up at this point. But I am Mona, progenitor of the future of astrology. Nothing can stand in my way. I simply need to deduce the missing portions with my astrolabe, write them in, and then decipher the text. <sighs> Finished at last. So what does it say? Just as I thought. Leonard was an adventurer who lived 2,000 years ago. His lifelong dream was to reach the summit of a mountain called Pylos Peak. 2,000 years? So the constellation that caused the meteorites is from 2,000 years ago? Somehow, for some reason, this constellation was summoned down from the sky. I suspect that the Fatui have something to do with that part. Paimon thinks so too. Whenever something shady happens, you can bet the Fatui are involved. The meteorites harbor elemental energy, which radiates out and lulls people to sleep by some means akin to hypnosis. And if I'm guessing correctly, there should be some sort of core meteorite among the bunch, within which is a crystal that harbors Leonard's spirit. Well, if I were Leonard, I would want to make sure the core lands right on the snowy summit that I never made it to while I was alive. So the core should be at the top of Pylos Peak? Where is that? Paimon's never heard of it before. It's the first I'd heard of it, too. So I compared the map from the book against the current topography of Mondstadt. Apparently, Pylos Peak no longer exists. Are you trying to say that the tallest mountain Paimon's never heard of just disappeared? I once read somewhere that the Animo Archon, Barbados, once used his divine power to mobilize the winds and blow the ice and snow from the face of the earth. The whole landscape of Mondstadt was changed in the process. The mountains of that age were replaced by the vast stretch of ocean we see today. Still, a mountain that high? Drop it into the ocean and it'll still leave a trace. The summit still reaches just above the water's surface. So the place known as Pylos Peak in Leonard's day is today known as Musk Reef. Oh, this is Pylos Peak. Not much to show for itself now, eh? Looks like someone beat us here. Is this like a popular tourist spot or... Ah, uh, it's you! Uh, uh. Huh? You again? Look at the state he's in. Was he in that dream just now? He managed to extricate himself from the dream on his own strength? How is that possible? <laughs> just because you are powerless to do something does not mean that I am. You're too late anyway. I finished my research. We knew it! This was all a dirty trick by the Fatui! Save it! No more fun and games for me today. I'll come for you when I'm good and ready. You entered the dream they've all been having, didn't you? How much do you know about Leonard? Leonard? Who's Leonard? Ah, uh, whatever. I have bigger fish to fry. I've discovered something far more important. And far more terrifying. What? 
The stars, the sky, it's all a gigantic hoax, a lie. The stars are a lie? <laughs> what are you talking about? Is this some kind of astrological debate between you and Mona? Because if so, surely you can come up with a better argument than the stars are a lie. Seriously, who's gonna fall for that one when you can just lift your head up at night and see them up there twinkling away? <laughs> oh, you are so naive, it kills me. Still, can't really blame you. After all, I used to believe the same thing myself. Up until a few moments ago, that is. A few moments ago? You mean... Look, I really don't have the time to do this right now. What was the Jester thinking? He must have had some inkling of what we might discover on this mission. Would it really have been so difficult to give me a little forewarning? Hmm. Well, maybe he just wanted to give me a fright. Time for me to go out and find the truth. So long, suckers. Oh, can you believe that guy? He calls us suckers and then he just trots off. No one disrespects me. No one. Oh, time to show them what you get when you cross world-class genius with pure, unadulterated rage. so fiercely told you that's what happens when you disrespect me you bet i am paimon you agree too right did i show those fatui who's boss or what sure did without you here those guys would have caused us a whole lot more trouble see how do you like that harbinger scumbag he seemed genuinely shaken though i don't think he was lying I was always taught to talk about the false sky during astrological readings. Could there be more to such phrases than I have been led to believe? <laughs> I digress. Come on, let's finish the job we came to do.